Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawnmower and I have two really cool products to try out here for you today. So let's get started. So the two items that will be featured in today's video are made by the company called Lightly. It's a very new battery powered company on the market right now. They sell mowers, uh, blowers, uh, hedge trimmers, edge trimmers, they sell uh, paint sprayers. They sell all different kind of battery powered stuff, which is really cool. Um, I am never have used any kind of battery powered or electric powered tools before. So they sent out two different things for me to try out. They sent me a 40 volt blower, as you can see here, and I'll go in more detail in that in a little bit. But for right now, what I'm gonna review is their hedge trimmer right here. So this is their 40 volt hedge trimmer. Uh, a couple of the cool features with this hedge trimmer is it actually turns like this on the side. It's very similar to some of the other brands out there where you can actually turn this and depending on the different angles that you need for when you trim. The battery goes on the, the bottom right here and it just pulls out. What's really cool about these batteries are they do have the little uh, battery charging uh, sections right here where it tells you how much ch uh, charge is left. There's actually four lights on here. So as the charge goes down, obviously there won't be four uh, lights lit up. There'll be three, four, two, one, once it gets all the way down to the end. It does come with a charger. It's a really easy plug-in charger. You just plug it into your wall. Very similar, similar to other you know, electric battery powered uh, items. Like if you use a DeWalt drill, I use a dr DeWalt drill at my house. So it's very similar to any kind of battery chargers that you use in your other items. So the battery obviously goes in the bottom here. So once you put this down in the bottom, what you can do is, is you can take off this really nice cover that covers your blades to protect them. And then they have a couple safety features, which is really cool. You have to definitely hold this down. And then from here, you have two separate little tabs right here. And then it turns on. So what I'm gonna do next is, is I have these grasses right here behind me. It's the fall time. And what we do at our house is we always trim these grasses down going into the winter months. And then obviously next year, they will grow back up nice and tall. So as you can see there, it did cut through very nicely. It's a 40 volt, so it's not gonna be the most powerful machine. Um, it, if I, I wish it was just a little bit stronger. I mean, this grass, it's really not that thick. I mean, it's pretty thin as you can see here. Um, it did go through, that's the main thing when it comes to these uh, battery items that I've seen online with other reviews, um, if they work or not. And as you can see, it did go through the grass blades. Do I wish it was a little bit stronger? Yes. And that's what I do with my reviews. I always try and be honest as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to cut these grasses down the fence line right here, and then give you guys another opinion after I get done doing the rest of them. As you can see here behind me, everything is done. It's nice and trimmed down. Uh, it did do a, a fairly good job, I would say. Again, I wish it was just a little bit more powerful. I'll show you in a second. The blower does have a turbo option on it where you can, uh, the, the stream of the flow of the blower would be a little bit stronger than the normal stream. I wish they almost had a like a turbo option on the trimmers as well. Um, just so if you have some thicker things that you need to try and get through, it would help that process go and cut it a little bit smoother. Obviously, I've used trimmers in my past as well. I've used gas power, hedge trimmers in my past 
when I was growing up and they are very a lot more powerful obviously they're gas powered uh, overall I would say for an average homeowner this would do if you're not doing anything super thick if you're doing just shrubs and things like I just did here these grass uh, plants that I have at my house I think you would be fine but if you're gonna be doing anything thicker than that then this I would highly not recommend this option right here maybe a either a stronger battery option or maybe even a gas powered option so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in the front of my house now and I have a couple areas where I have to trim a couple uh, shrub in the front an actual bush so I'll show you how well it does with that and I have a couple annual plants that I have to trim down down to the stems so they can grow back next year and they're actually a, lot, a little bit thicker than these as well so we'll be able to see how well this does with something a little bit thicker so I'm out front of my house right now as you can see I have a nice flower bed right here some of these flowers are just going dormant for the season so what we're going to do is trim them down so they can fill in next year I have a shrub back here that needs to be trimmed as well so we're going to test this thing out now on these plants right here So as you can see right here behind me, this thing went right through everything, no problem. It did really, it did a really nice job with that shrub right there, the yellow bush right there. It did cut it, it was almost, it cut it like butter, which is really great. Uh, overall, super happy with the trimmer, especially if you're just a typical homeowner, DIYer like myself, and you have, you know, some shrubs and some things that you need to trim in your yard or your uh, backyard, wherever you have, you know, in your house. This is definitely a good tool for that. I wish it was just still a little bit stronger. It would make a, the job up probably a little bit quicker. But overall, I would be extremely happy with this. This dove def, definitely does beat having to do a manual hedge trimming with the, the traditional manual hedge trimmer. So this definitely cuts down your time, makes things a lot easier on your back, on yourself, and makes it go definitely a lot quicker. So what I'm gonna test out next is I have a bunch of leaves right here behind me. So what I'm gonna test out is their 40 volt blower right here so again this is a 40 volt blower by lightly really cool brand just starting to come on to the market you have your battery right here take it out real nice and easily all you do is pop it right back in you have a nice long spout right here what I like about this spout right here is it has a nice uh, hole right here it's nice and big it's not very skinny so you can move a lot of leaves or a lot of anything that you're trying to use um, fertilizer on your sidewalks whatever so what's a really cool feature is is you have your regular on right here and then you also have this turbo right here so this is the regular power right here and now the turbo One of the knocks that I'll give this blower is there's no cruise control, so you have to always have your hand on here. So that's one knock that I'll give it. It does help to have a cruise control. So maybe if they develop a couple newer blowers in the future, they can add that to this. I think if they added this that cruise control to this blower, it would be a really solid blower. So one of the obvious things that I've noticed is if you use the turbo more than the regular throttle, the battery will definitely drain faster. So just be cognizant of that when you go to use this blower, if you ever do use a blower. I know that a lot of the blowers out on the market right now, they have that low option like I showed you and they have that turbo option as well. So again, if you are gonna be using the turbo option, obviously the battery is gonna drain a lot faster. So what I'm gonna do next is I got some leaves right here behind me. I'm gonna show you the two different options, the low option and the higher option, the turbo option, so you guys can see how well I can blow these leaves right here behind me.
So as you can see there, I had no problem blowing the leaves with this blower. I did both the low setting and the high setting with the turbo right here. Obviously when you're gonna use the turbo as opposed to the lower setting, the battery is gonna definitely drain quicker. So you just have to be cognizant of what your setting you're using it on. Again, I always try and do pros and cons whenever I do review something. I always try to be honest with my opinion. So a couple of my thoughts are on this blower in particular is I wish it did definitely had a cruise control so you don't have to keep holding the trigger in. That would be a plus. One of the other things is, is the back here. This is how it gets its suction to blow out through the chute here. Um, so you gotta be cognizant of when you're holding it. Obviously when you're using a handheld blower, you usually hold it to your side. So just be cognizant of also uh, not covering up the back. You know, if you have it up against your body like this, it's not gonna blow as well. So definitely you have to hold this to its side. And then some pros and cons here with the hedge trimmer. Overall, I was super happy with it. It does have a nice safety feature right here. You definitely you obviously have to hold this in as a, and you have to hold in the trigger down here. So that's a great safety option. Overall, I would say it cuts pretty well. I do wish it did have a turbo option like the blower. So if you do have some thicker branches or thicker items that you're trying to go through and you're trying, and obviously this won't be able to cut you. If you had a turbo option as well, it would cut it probably a little bit better and a little bit more smoother. But overall, I would say this hedge trimmer right here does a really great overall job for just your average DIYer or homeowner that has some shrubs, some bushes, different things like that, some grasses like I showed you here today this thing will definitely cut right through that. So I definitely wanna thank Lightly for sending me out these two options right here. I've never used battery operated equipment before, either a blower, head trimmer, or anything. Uh, I think they're really cool items. It's definitely a lot easier. You don't have to deal with gas. You, all you have to do is worry about charging your items and keeping them charged. So they're definitely great for people that don't wanna deal with the smell of gas or have gas uh, just lying around in their shed, their garage or whatever. So battery options are a really great alternative to gas options. If you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And like always, I'll see you in the next one.